Okay, now that I'm in the ThingLink iPad app, any interactive images that you have created, I'm going to go ahead and create a new one by pressing the plus. And I'm going to choose from my photo library, or if you want to take a fresh image, you can do that as well. I'm going to go ahead and choose from my photo library. When I select from my photo library, I'm going to select a moment here. And so I'm going to select this butterfly. And you can add text. And then you can move your target around or your hotspot. If I want another one, I just tap. I can add media. So I can take a video or I can choose from my gallery that I already have. And so let me choose another one here. And now I have this image that I can place around. If I want to caption it, I can caption it by hitting that pencil and it allows me to pull up that text box, hit the check mark, and I'm done. If I want to add media and I want to add from YouTube, I can search YouTube. And of course you have to consider that not everything on YouTube is appropriate. So unless you're really comfortable with your students accessing YouTube, uh, you may want to be careful. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the Butterfly Colors song. I have no idea what it is, but we're going to go ahead and put it in and they can watch it. So here I have an interactive image. Uh, for the most part with lower elementary, I think I would focus on text as well as adding their own images. And then they hit next. Now I can add a title. So there is my title. You also have the option of unlisting your work. I'm going to turn on the unlist button. And you also have the option of sending it out to social media or you can also email. I'm going to turn on the email button. You can see that it darkens as you turn it on. And then you hit the save button. It's starting to load. And then you are free to email it to whomever you need to. If I need to send it to my teacher, if I'm a student I want to send it to my teacher, I can do that. If I need to send it to myself so that way I can access my student group, I can do that. Uh, if I need to post it on my learning management system, I can do that as well. I hit send. And now I have a thing link sent through email and it's done and created. Here's what the email looks like. I'll press on it. And here is my butterfly thing link interactive image. Thanks for watching.